Hello, and welcome back to this Study Legal English podcast. I'm your host, Louise, and uh, if you're watching on YouTube, welcome back to my regular viewers and welcome, if this is your first time, on my channel. Today, I've got a quick announcement to make, and I'm very excited about it, and hopefully you are going to be too, and that is this. Natasha Costello and I are going to be running our first workshop series based on our book called Practical English Language Skills for Lawyers Improving Your Legal English. And uh, the first workshop series is focusing on the topic of networking. So it's legal English for networking. So if you are a lawyer, a law student, or another legal professional who needs to network in English, come along to these sessions. They are for you. They are to make you feel more confident about networking in English. So the first one will be running on the 21st of March. That's next week. So that's uh, the first workshop. And the title of that one is Legal English for Preparing for a Networking Event. And that one is from six o'clock until seven o'clock CET, Central European Time. So all of these workshops are just for an hour. They are bite-sized to give you an idea about uh, how to network. Workshop two is called Legal English for Small Talk. So all about small talk, topics of small talk that you can use, making sure that you feel confident uh, using small talk at a networking event. That one is Tuesday, the 28th of March, 2023 from 6 until 7 o'clock CEST, Central European Summertime, because the clocks uh, change and, uh, of course, we are into summertime then. The next workshop, workshop three, is called Legal English for Delivering an Elevator Pitch. So an elevator pitch is uh, all about talking about business, about your business, about what you do, about talking confidently about your work or your studies as a lawyer or a law student or legal professional. That workshop will take place on Tuesday, the 4th of April, 2023, from 6 until 7 o'clock Central European Summertime. Then workshop four, that's the final workshop in this series, is about legal English for following up after a networking event. So making sure that you understand how to write messages, clear messages on social media or on email and uh, to, to follow up with your contacts after you've met them. That's running Tuesday the 11th of April from 6 until 7 Central European Summertime. So, so if you go to this website, eventbrite.com, and search for Legal English for Networking Workshop, you're going to find it. There's also a short link, okay, which, of course, if you're watching this on YouTube, it will also be in the description of this episode, uh, whether you're listening to the podcast or whether you're watching on YouTube. So the short link is bit.ly, okay, B-I-T dot L-Y forward slash S1 underscore networking, okay, series one networking. So you can go there and you're going to get to this page which shows the, the overall workshop series here. If you scroll down, you can see all of those topics, okay? Each workshop has a separate page. So for example, if we click here on the first workshop, you can find out more information about it. Each workshop costs 30 euros. They each take place online on Zoom, so you can easily connect, okay, from wherever you are. And each workshop is limited to 10 people. So we've already had quite a few people sign up. So if you're interested in this, sign up so that you don't miss out. Um, you can sign up by clicking here on the Get Tickets button. You click on there, you go through, okay, you go to the checkout. It's a very simple process. Hopefully you're not going to have trouble with it. You enter your billing information and um, just, you know, tell a little bit about yourself. This is for Natasha and I to understand your needs as a student, okay? What your level of English is, what your job is. You can, if you don't want to write anything, just, uh, you know, put, put, uh, 
per NA, okay? Uh, but this is really helpful for Natasha and I as teachers to understand who's attending the workshops. So you input your information, you click pl place order, and then you're in. You're in, uh, you're in and you've got your ticket. Um, you don't need to attend every single workshop. Of course, if you want to, you can, okay? But if you unfortunately can't attend all of them or you're not interested in one of the workshops, but you're more interested in another, that's fine. You can sign up for one event. You can sign up for all four. You do not need to have attended the first event to attend the second event and so on. Each one is independent. Even if you only attend one, you are going to learn something. You will take something away to become better at networking. And it's also an opportunity to meet other people like you and to actually build your network through actually coming to the course, coming to the workshops. So what else? The series, okay, the workshops, they are based on our book. However, you don't need to buy the book in order to attend. All of the material that you need to do the exercises in the workshop will be provided. But if you do want to buy the book, if you feel more confident uh, purchasing the book, in fact, we have a discount code. You will find it on each of the workshop pages here that entitles you to a discount on the book um, and it's valid until the 31st of May. So that is everything that I wanted to share with you today. Okay. Just as a reminder of that link. Okay. For the shorter link, you can go to bit.ly forward slash S1 underscore networking. Okay. That's the shorter link. It's going to take you to this, you know, overview page where you can see each of the workshops separately and choose which ones you want to attend. As I mentioned, people are signing up. There's only 10 places. So if you do want to attend, sign up today. I recommend that you do that. And that's it. That's all I wanted to say today. Thank you for listening. Thanks for watching. If you've been watching on YouTube, if you've got any questions about this, leave a comment if you're watching on YouTube in the section below or send me an email. My email address is louise at studylegalenglish.com. So thanks for listening. Thanks for watching and see you next time.